it's like saying, um, you know, when you when you were a child and you found a mirror, and you caught the sun's light in the mirror, and you you shone, you tilted the mirror, and you shine the sun's light in your friend's eye across the other side of the classroom. Or it's like saying what, what what you've just suggested: the belief that consciousness need, awareness needs the body mind in order to be aware of itself is like saying the sun needs to reflect itself in a mirror and then to have somebody shine the mirror back towards the sun in order to light it up. You see, awareness knows itself by itself. It's Imagine empty space but invest empty space with a quality of being aware. So imagine empty space, but, but it's aware space. Now, what does that aware space need to do in order to be aware of itself? It, it doesn't need to do anything. Its nature is to be aware. It's not aware of itself or as something. It can't, empty space can't separate itself from itself and turn round and say, oh, look, I am empty space, but just by being itself, it knows itself. So awareness is like that. Awareness can't separate itself from itself, turn round and say, oh, look, I am awareness. The thought does all that, but awareness doesn't need to do that. Just by being itself, it knows itself or is, it is aware of itself. And it is, let me just, just say one thing, it is a, th- th- this is a very, crucial point because even in people that have been on a spiritual path for many years this deep belief remains that it is the body mind that is aware that it is i this body mind that is aware it's not it's it's awareness that is aware and the very first thing aware it's not a thing but the very first thing awareness knows before it knows seems to know something other than itself It knows itself just by being itself. It doesn't need a mind or a body or a world to know itself. 